Hello everyone, welcome back on my channel and I am here with the new presentation containing the explanation related to social studies grade 5 and today's topic is our government. So basically objective of this video is to learn about the different levels of government in our country, the functions of the central government and its constitution and the function of state government and its structure. So let's start it. India became an independent country on 15 August 1947 and a republic on 26 January 1950. So today India is a union of 28 states and 8 union territories and we can say it has 36 entities. The total population is more than 138 crores. It is difficult to govern such a big country by a single government. So the Indian government works at different levels and these are at the local level, at the level of state and the national level. The local level refers to your village, town or locality. The state level covers an entire state like Punjab, Kerala, Bihar, etc. And the national level refers to the entire country. When the government works at different levels, it brings the government closer to the people. The responsibility of governing the country is divided between the center and the state governments. Both types of governments work together for the welfare of people in India. So these governments have three types of work to do like number one to make laws means legislature, number two to enforce laws means executives and to get justice for people means judiciary. These three are the branches of government. So now let's talk about the levels of government. We all know that India is a vast country and it is not possible to rule the entire country from a single center of power. So there are three levels of government. Number one, central government with its center at New Delhi. The state government with their respective capitals as seats of government and the local self government. The central and state governments work with the help of three branches that is legislature, executive and judiciary of the government. Now let's discuss all these things one by one. Number one, the union government or we can say central government. The central or union government rules over the whole country. It is located in New Delhi. It makes laws for the entire country and makes sure that these laws are followed by all. Making laws for the country and seeing that they are implemented is the main responsibility of the central government or the union government. The main law making body of the country is the parliament or we can say legislature of the union means the parliament. The parliament is the law making body of the central government so it is the legislature at central level. Parliament in India is also called Sansat. It consists of two houses, Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. This is the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha. It has three wings like the President of India, the Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. The members of both houses are known as the members of Parliament or MPs. They are elected by all the adult citizens of our country. The Lok Sabha is also known as the lower house of the parliament. It can have maximum of 552 members. 
and the members of Lok Sabha elect the Speaker, who guides the proceedings of the House. The Rajya Sabha is also known as the upper house of the Parliament, and the Rajya Sabha can have a maximum of two hundred fifty members. The Vice President of India is the chairperson of Rajya Sabha. So the Lok Sabha is the mainly law-making body in India. The people have the right to elect its member through voting. The members of the Lok Sabha are elected for a period of five years. Any Indian who is more than twenty-five years of age can take part in the elections for the Lok Sabha. The country has five forty-five constituencies. One member is elected from each constituency. The elections are conducted by the Election Commission of India. The candidate who gets the maximum votes is elected as a member of the Lok Sabha. And the Rajya Sabha is the upper house of Parliament. So the members of the Rajya Sabha are not elected directly by the people of India. They are elected by the members of the state legislative assemblies. For a period of six years, it is therefore also called the Council of States. The Rajya Sabha is presided over by the Vice President of India. It has a maximum strength of two fifty members, of which two thirty eight are elected and twelve are nominated by the President. One third of the members retire after every two years. so the rajya sabha is a permanent house unlike the lok sabha now let's move to the union executive the union executives makes sure that the laws made by the parliament as are, are followed by the people and it comprises the president the prime minister and council of ministers The president of India is not elected by the people directly. The members of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha and the state assemblies can elect the president of India. He or she is the head of the country and is elected for 5 years. The vice president is elected for 5 years by the member of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. And the minimum age to become the president of India is 35 years. after the general election which is generally held after every 5 years the political party that gets maximum number of votes forms the government the president of india swears in the leader of that party as the prime minister the prime minister is the head of the government and all powers rest in his or her hands the prime minister is helped in the discharge of his or her functions by a specially chosen group of ministers these ministers look after separate departments of the government such as defense health agriculture industry and finance the prime minister and these ministers make up the council of ministers the council is a group of people chosen by the prime minister they are in charge of different departments of the government for example the railway minister is responsible for the proper working of the railways in our country now let's move to the union judiciary or the judiciary you already know that people go to the judiciary to seek justice the judiciary is in india comprises a number of courts present in different states the supreme court of india is the highest court of justice in the country and is a key part of the union judiciary it consists of the chief justice of india and 30 other judges the constitution of india has provision for establishing an independent judiciary system the judiciary bodies are called courts the highest judiciary body of india is the supreme court of india and it is located in new delhi 
the judges of the supreme court are appointed by the president of india the judgment of the supreme court is final in all legal cases the high court is the highest judicial body in the state at present there are 18 courts in india 18 high courts in india some high courts look after the work of more than one state one of the four union territories only delhi has a high court every district in the state has district court and lower court in other towns and cities now next level the state government the state governments are formed to govern the states in an effective manner each state government is located at the capital city of a state a state government makes laws on matters related to the state the legislative assembly or the vidhan sabha is the law making body of a state government in india it is elected by the people of a state members of this house are known as the members of legislative assembly or mlas each state in the country has a high court which is the highest court of justice in the state the people of a state can appeal to the high court if they feel a law is not being followed properly or the executive is not working in a fair manner laws for each state are made by the state legislative assemblies and their members are directly elected by the people of the state for 5 years every person who is more than 18 years of age and is the resident of a state has the right to elect the member of the state legislative assembly the members are elected for a term of 5 years the head of the state government is the chief minister the chief minister chooses his or her council of ministers to help him or her run the government the head of each state is the governor he or she is appointed by the president of india the speaker is elected by the members of the state legislative assembly the speaker is the chairman of legislative assembly some states also have legislative councils also many state legislatures in india also have another house called the vidhan parishad or legislative council it is called vidhan parishad it is the upper house of the state legislature member of this house are known as the member of legislative council means mlcs by the end of this explanation you will be able to explain what a government is you can talk about the three layers of government in india and describe how governments are formed you can check my other videos related to social studies grade 5 the links are flashing on your screen you can check all that i hope all links will be helpful for you thank you for watching bye bye